and and or statements allow us to test whether conditions A and B are either both true or if one or the other is true. But what if we want to test if a condition is not true? Um, in that case, we have a tool called the not statement um, or using the not equal to operator as a means of accomplishing that. So uh, here's an example where we want to redefine the conditions field based just on the precipitation column in column C. Um, one way to do it would be to use the not statement and say if not C2 equals zero, which in other words is saying if C2 is not equal to zero, then value of true is wet, value of false is dry. Again, from a readability standpoint, it feels backwards. That's just the way crazy Excel uh, operates, so you just gotta get used to it. The second way to accomplish the same thing in what is, in my opinion, a more straightforward uh, approach is to use the not equal to sign, uh, which just looks like a less than followed immediately by a greater than symbol. Um, so I can do the exact same thing by writing if C2 is not equal to zero, value of true, wet, value of false, dry. And it's just a little bit cleaner. Um, syntax is more straightforward, easy to comprehend, and you don't introduce these extra parentheses that you would by using the not statement. So jumping over to Excel, um, what I'm basically going to do is revisit the conditions uh, formula that we created in the last lecture using the or statement. And I'm just going to basically delete that and start from scratch. And I'm going to use a not equal to uh, test to accomplish the same thing. Um, and again, I'm going to use uh, the precipitation field as my, uh, my variable. I'm just going to type equals if and then arrow over to precipitation. So if oops, it's not equal to zero, my value of true is going to be wet. So if something's falling out of the sky, I don't know what, it doesn't really matter what. Otherwise, conditions are dry. One parenthesis to close it, and there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is just apply this formula. It will overwrite all of my others and because it's relative references, it will update properly. And as you can see, it maintained all of the same values. The one thing that did change, I'm just gonna undo and redo to show you, is this error value in row 12. Um, and the reason that changed is because the or statement that we had previously written, remember, was based on the precipitation type field, which had returned an error, because that field, in turn, was based on the temperature field, uh, which has some corrupt or missing data. Um, in this case, we've redefined the formula purely based on column H, uh, which doesn't seem to have the missing value. Um, so the error disappears and it populates properly. So there you go. That's the not statement.